Hey everyone, and welcome to Food and Wine Blog TV. I'm your host, Dr. Beerman Bissonette, and I'm here today for another product review show. My first product that I would like to review is Dr. Drip Coffee. So the idea behind this is that, uh, unlike instant coffee, where you can just kind of you know add it to a cup and pour boiling water in, and you got it, uh, or regular drip coffee, which takes some time and you just tend to brew more than you need, uh, this allows you to brew just one cup, and you can actually brew it yourself. So what you need is some kind of pot of hot water, which of course, for all your co coffee connoisseurs out there, you keep at a range of uh, somewhere between 197 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit, right? You get this little coffee guy on the inside of the bag. You pull off this pouch on top, and at this point, make sure you don't tip it over because the grinds are inside, and you can't really see it, I guess, but there's a little filter with pre-cut coffee grinds. You push this on the side, on the bottom stick out these little feet, and you place it over your coffee cup like so. I am using one that, I've, that is apparently too big, oh there we go, that I received in my second grade uh, birthday, my seventh birthday from a girl named Heather Owen. So Heather, if you're watching, I'm still using that glass that you got me. And basically all you do is just pour some hot water into this filter like you're making regular coffee. It'll fill up. And give it a few seconds and it'll drain out. You'll have to fill this thing up a few times uh, just in order to fill up your actual glass. And so while that's actually brewing, let's talk about some other products. So now I'd like to talk about La Familia del Grosso tomato sauce products. They're pretty tasty. Uh, we got three in the mail to review. This one is the Sunday Marinara. We had a basil version, a tomato basil, and we also had a vodka sauce, uh, which you'll notice the tomato basil and vodka sauce are also gone. Uh, the vodka was by far the tastiest, I think. Um, that was gone within two days of opening up, and we had people over as guests, and we ha were happy to serve it. Uh, it was creamy, it was tasty, flavorful, and great. The, uh, the basil sauce was good, but it seemed to be more of your standard, generic, you know, kind of pasta sauce. In fact, in such a way that the marinara sauce seemed to have more basil flavor in it than the actual basil uh, sauce did. This is quite tasty, we just haven't gotten around to finishing it yet, but uh, they're good sauces. To counter this, we also like to review some products uh, from Fisher & Weisel Company. This is Mom's Tomato Sauce. And so while the sauces from La Familia were quite uh, fine by comparison, the mom's sauce is actually a very rustic sauce. So it's full of big chunks of tomato, you know, big whole cloves of garlic, uh, bits of onions, giant like leaves in there and such. It's tasty. They're very different sauces for very, very different purposes. You know, this would be nice for dipping or for surrounding meatballs, etc. This uh, is my favorite particular type of sauce, but you know, it's really tasty on, on pasta. Another thing we actually got was this roasted uh, chipotle and raspberry sauce, which is surprisingly tasty. Um, and you may not think off the cuff that chipotle and raspberries would really be good together, but when you can taste this, um, the heat from the chipotle waits to really right at the end to actually come through. And you get up front some of that sweetness of the raspberry, it stands out nice. Um, the chipotle adds a nice smoky flavor to it, and so it becomes like a really sweet barbecue-y kind of sauce that I don't know, it's really tasty. Um, we had it with some chicken recently, and, or at least I had it, my girlfriend's a vegetarian, um, and it was really good sauce to put on there. Okay, so let's get back to this coffee. Once you've finally brewed your last bit, you can just take this and dispose of it. I'm going to put it here, out of the way. And now let's review the coffee, because the big question with more instant or kind of coffees like this is, are they good? Um, as we all know, instant coffee it, it kind of sucks a little bit. Um, it's okay for caffeine if you really want that. You do lose the ritual of brewing it, but it's good for a drug consumption point of view. This it smells nice. It has a nice, um, almost a vanilla e, but not quite a vanilla kind of flavor or aroma. And it's definitely not a flavored coffee either. light toast or a light roast, um, definitely not too dark. Let's give it a taste and see what it tastes like. Yeah. It's 
it's actually quite mild. Although at the end you get some some of the nice toasted flavors or at least a dark roast of there. It's a good coffee. Um, I would suggest that maybe not making the full cup. It seems to be a little bit, just a teensy weensy bit watered down. But so if you took a cup this size and you made maybe three quarters of it full with this coffee, I think that'd be actually fantastic. It's really smooth, it's really drinkable. It has good texture actually also, um, which is something again you lose with instant coffee and also with even some regular brew coffee. So this is quite good. So I'd like to give uh, Dr. Drip's coffee a good two thumbs up. Uh, the Familia del Grosso, I'll give like one and a half thumbs up. Uh, Mom sauce, love this stuff, it's great. And uh, the Raspberry Chipotle sauce, if you're interested, give it a shot. Alright, well, cheers.